a ton of them right here. Look at those guys. There's actually one right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Gorgeous, gorgeous tortoise right here. going on everybody welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch we are almost at the end of the year of 2020 this absolutely crazy year for you all and for me as well so yeah so today I know a lot of people and well, that's a lot of people yeah but a lot of people have been wondering how all my tortoises are doing so we're gonna talk to you guys about all my tortoises and turtles here on the ranch so it's pretty much gonna be a full-on tour about the turtles and tortoises on the ranch so we're gonna start from over here go to there and then end up inside of the baby area so let's start over here real quick and check out how everybody is doing so let's head off into hide of here you guys know it is spider web central in here like always so you just follow along and you won't get hit by spiders we have some sulcatas inside of here because the areas they were at before we uh completely took them apart because we were renewing stuff we'll talk about that in further videos we come down over here we have the spotted turtle bog. It is doing absolutely amazing. You can't really see any spotted turtles, obviously, because it is as natural as it could be. But let's see if we can see anything. Come over here. Okay, there's actually one right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see right there? Zoom in. You guys see that? Right there. That's a male spotted turtle just hanging out inside of the giant hyacinth forest of craziness. There's about 15 spotted turtles in here. And it's about three feet deep. If you guys haven't seen those videos, go check out those videos. Pretty dope, pretty awesome. But we'll head backwards a little bit. Then in this enclosure right here, we have the Hondorian wood turtles. They're doing absolutely great. Let me see if I can grab one for you guys to show you how they're doing. Uh, let's see. Wow. There's a ton inside of there. They're all in there, hiding, chilling, hanging out. They got the little pond. They got the greens. They got the little spot. They got a little hiding spot. Next door to them, we have spotted leg wood turtles and Asian box turtles. They're doing absolutely great. Everybody's egg laying season is completely done. We have no more eggs for these guys coming out. They're just all in the incubator. Hopefully they'll all hatch and they'll do great. Um, all my enclosures are pretty much all edible as in, as you see right there, we got beautiful hibiscus bushes with the cut back, feedback, they do great. Cactus, all of the cool little plants and stuff for my enclosures. Uh, people are probably wondering why are there chicken boxes in the back? If you didn't know, way, 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 way back in the day, this used to be actually a giant chicken coop, but I transformed it into a tortoise enclosure. That's why there's different pins and different dividers all throughout inside of this thing. Let me grab this spotted turtle right here. This is an absolutely gorgeous stud male right here. Let me show you how pretty this guy is. All right, here we go. So that is a really, really gorgeous adult stud spotted leg wood turtle right here so this is probably one of the fathers of all the babies i'll show you inside of the baby section you see the orange head on them a little bit real real long-term captive right here gorgeous 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 and then i have f1s inside meaning first mom always calls and then i just grabbed that spotted leg turtle male and then right here we have a gorgeous asian wood turtle look at him right there gorgeous gorgeous real fat this is a girl boy it's a nice, gorgeous girl. She could have been one of the producers that I produced. I've only produced a few babies here, and why they call them a box turtle? Because they have that hinge right there, and as you can see, they get close up completely and hide their whole body just in case any predators try to grab them. Really dope little turtle right here. This is an adult, so it's real good um, first-time turtle. And on top of that, this is a long-term captive. So long, long time ago, this guy was probably in the Asian jungle, but now they got brought into here, so they'll live their best life here on the ranch inside of their enclosure. Then we move over. To the section over another section of the old chicken coop come over here and over here we have a giant herd of long-term captive uh central american wood turtles there is about 25 adults inside of here and they have two separate ponds they're pretty much mud bogs they do pretty great and again i think we had maybe a raccoon come in here again the reason why i know that is because of the fact that if you look over there there are some eggs broken on the bottom, and that kind of sucks sometimes. We always have to catch them left and right, but yeah, there's a couple broken eggs here, but that's okay. It happens. We just got to catch them and get them out of here. Central American wood turtles all throughout here. They have a hide over there, a hide over here, a hide over here. They have a huge area to get away from the males, do all those amazing things, and it looks great. It looks awesome, so let's keep on moving. So as you guys know, this section here is my yellow foot tortoises i have never produced any of those yet but maybe in the near future we will be able to and then 
right here we have red foot tortoises. They're eating some fruits, they're eating some veggies, there's some uh, mango, some tomatoes, all different types of mixed produce. There's about 30 adults inside of here in this massive pen. They've been still laying, we're getting a bunch of eggs. We have about 100 eggs in the incubator. We're not gonna be selling any turtles and tortoises for this year anymore. 2021, stay tuned for BlakeExoticAnimalRanch.com because we'll have a beautiful list of amazing captive born aquatic turtles and tortoises for you all. So come over here. Maya's doing great and the caimans and the alligators are doing amazing as well. But you look down right here, we have a massive herd. Well, not massive, massive, but a nice beautiful herd of Eastern Herman tortoises. And then I'll show you their offspring that are inside of the baby area that we produced this year as well. These are really, really great first time pets as well. Because as you guys know, they don't get too big. They look amazing. And just check them out. So let's come this way. Missy's right there. Willie's right there. Uh, Willie's gonna be having a doctor appointment coming soon because he has some very, very massive, massive tusk. So he's gonna obviously have to be put down for about 20, 30 minutes because there's no way you're gonna hold him down to cut those tusks and we're gonna bring him down as low as we can so he's nice and healthy so they don't scratch up his face anymore or anything like that. But we don't want him to go inside because obviously that's what it looks like he's getting close to. So that's gonna get done soon. Ivory tortoises are right there because we have a massive project getting done over there that's just about done. The tortoise is there. Enough talking about this whole section here. We're gonna enter inside the baby area. This area was designed so no predators could come inside of here at all, hurt any of my baby tortoises. We have the three inch by half inch mesh completely around the whole entire overhang here of the building. This is 60 foot long, 12 feet wide, eight feet tall, and it is my pretty much row out center for rare and endangered turtles and tortoises that I keep and stuff on the racks that we sell. There's always rat traps that are placed, always just in case rats do get in here. So there's always traps going. Obviously those are not set, but there's other ones all around. It's probably like 40 traps in here. We have traps absolutely everywhere. Whenever you have animals, you're gonna have rats. It happens. You just gotta always be ready to get these bad boys because they don't, they like to get turtles and tortoises. Uh, before we get to the gems down over here, we're gonna go down that way and I'm gonna show you some of the other tortoises and turtles that we have available for 2021. There's really not that much, but it's starting to kick in now, so it's gonna be pretty dope. I'm just gonna show you the one beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little Eastern Hermit tortoises that hatched out this season already. Look at these gorgeous little guys. They are so adorable. So these are three little ones right here. This one's still a little crooked because it came out of the egg that way, but it will circle out when it gets a little bigger. This one's about a week older. Gorgeous little guy. Small little Eastern Hermit tortoises. Adults right out over there. Pretty freaking dope. Uh, we come down this way. And then over here is my aquatic center. Everything drains down into a French drain and then all the turtles are up over here. So we have some, we have all different types of turtles. There's a, some really cool species of wood turtles here. Look at that. First time I ever produced this. We have six of them in there that we produced this year. We have a beautiful, Colombian blue-eyed wood turtle very very rare turtle right there not too many people are working with them there's probably only a handful of people that are producing them in the United States hopefully I'll be there soon we have this almost an adult female looking great she all these turtles on the bottom racks are just about almost ready to go into their runs in different spots uh, the spotted leg wood turtles like I got telling you guys earlier let me grab a handful for you guys we have a ton of them right here look at those guys these are all produced this year a little bit older like this probably like two months old this is like two months old that's like a month old and then we have uh, three years last generations over here check it out oh, grab these guys. There you go. so this is like a two-year-old right there gorgeous gorgeous turtle so this is f1s these are gonna be f2s because this is the second years I mean it's pretty freaking dope and then up here we're raising up some uh, Gulf Coast box turtles for ourselves for future projects right there look at that gorgeous little guy Look at that little dude. Amazing little dude. All different types of boxes. So there's just some stuff here. We have future uh, plans to make more setups here and all that stuff. But as of right now, it's up and running. It's good. It's amazing. I like it. It works great. And it's dope. And again, if anybody has any uh, spider web ideas, let me know. Because it is an endless battle to get these spider webs. But obviously, because there's lights, bugs come, spiders are going to come. They're taking care of the bug situation which is okay but it's just it's just endless there's a lot of spider webs and it makes it look low-key i think kind of ugly it doesn't look clean so it's not the best but you can't do crazy things like that all the time i mean i don't know yeah keep on spider tortoise doing great pancake tortoises 
doing great and Sir Lincoln Star tortoises all over here. I know I'm gonna tell you guys something that's probably not the best husbandry for turtles and tortoise keepers, but I swear you guys, since South Florida cold fronts have been here, I'm in like down south area, so I'm not like in the Orlando area, I'm more down south. And how the sun comes into the building, as you guys can see, everybody gets sun all throughout here. Even early mornings, all the tops of racks get light as well. But as you can see, the radiators get light, the Solankin stars get light, everybody get light. And to be honest, it's all these cold fronts. I haven't put one heat lamp on here at all, and they're doing great and amazing. So of course, I wouldn't suggest that for everybody making sure you always need to make sure you have heat on your animals there during the cold times. But I was kind of doing an experiment here and it actually worked out great. I want my turtles and tortoises to know the seasons, know everything here, and they're doing great. All the radiators have did amazing. And I'm not gonna lie, they look absolutely fabulous. They have gotten so big, they are massive too. Like, not gonna lie, these are the size of the radiator tortoises, unfortunately, that I lost in my fire three years ago, and I got them back to the size of where I want them to go. So I'm gonna take off my shoes right here, and you're coming over here. And I just lay down some fresh greens and stuff. We gotta do a little bit of cleanup maybe eventually. But, I mean, take a look. So, this little guy right here, if you guys know Jason Abels, we got this guy from him. And, I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous tortoise right here. She or he, we're not sure. We got it when it was the size of a quarter. And, I mean, it's doing absolutely great right there. Then we have all of these. I mean, these are just absolutely beautiful. Look at these. I mean, you cannot say these are flawless. This is A1. Not one bump on that radiator tortoise right there. I mean, they're perfect baseballs. And they just look amazing. I mean, look at the colorations. Mother Nature is just crazy. Each tortoise is completely different every single time. So this is one of my bigger ones. It has a very, very slight pyramid, but nothing too crazy at all. I mean, that is still A1 gorgeous, gorgeous tortoise right there. Look at that. About the size of a baseball right now. And I mean, amazing. And then some people are like, oh, you might be not doing the right thing because there's a little bit of pyramiding. I know many people that actually been to Madagascar and places where these animals are from. Each tortoise, each person, each animal is completely different every single time. They could possibly have a little bit of pyramiding. They will not die. But obviously, crazy amount of pyramiding is not healthy because obviously you're not doing something right. Let's move on to right over here. And I'm going to show you some more of these guys because, I mean, these are just, I just love to sit here all day long and check them out. So let me grab this guy right here. Oh, I'm lying. That one didn't come from Jason Abel's. Actually, that was another one that came from around. This one right here is the one. He's just getting just so big. I mean, look at that. Look at the dome. On that thing is just to do these, what these remind me of I went to the turtle conservancy like three years ago and this reminds me of the plashaw tortoises it looks like an army helmet you know the way back in the end the hard solid green army helmets that's what that looks like right there I mean gorgeous gorgeous dude nice perfect ball of beautifulness right there that one is gorgeous check a look at this one right here massive I mean what do you guys think put it down in the comments is that tortoise beautiful or what I mean my goodness that thing is just absolutely crazy gorgeous you stare at these things all day long hopefully we have a nice uh sex ratio in here and on top of that there's eight of them in here and they're all from different bloodlines so i'm pretty pretty excited about that so we're gonna be able to keep them all together and have this as, as a nice future breeding colony obviously in the united states they're getting produced left and right they're endangered in the wild but that's why it's so 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 important to have private sectors and the zoos working with endangered species so that these animals will stay in nature or stay in captivity forever because in the wild unfortunately they're getting eaten for bush meat and for the pet trade left and right and these guys are just getting poached poached grabbed taken everywhere and the wild is just disappearing so much so many humans are taking over all of animals homes so now it's just like you have to have noah's arcs you have to have private sector spots you have to have zoos you have to have spots that are here for animals so that they live here forever for our future generations to see and to see these animals because I mean I know everybody talks about radiated tortoises I've been seeing it a lot because there, there's been a lot there's a lot of them out there now and that is amazing that's awesome but they're just one of the really gorgeous gorgeous centerpieces of mother nature has produced in this world and there's so 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 many more can't wait to show you guys the aviary build once we get that going because the birds we're gonna put in there insane but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video give you guys a small little tour here on blake's exotic animal ranch showing you guys some of the turtles and tortoises that we kept here on the ranch um i don't know you turtle nerds anybody on here have been watching exactly but how many species of turtles and tortoises have we talked about here on the ranch today put it down in the comments like this video guys subscribe to the channel because 
We have a lot of cool things to show you guys in 2021, and we're breaking ground the first week. I'm gonna say it in every video coming up until 2021 starts, but it's gonna be crazy. I'll see you guys later, and peace out, everyone.